you say Yes, it's that time again It's Tech Tuesday Hey guys, this week we are working on optimizing our levels going from a Behringer wing into a uh, ATEM SDI Extreme ISO. This will work for pretty much any of the Behringer products going to any of the Blackmagic products that have the eighth inch input. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. All right, so this church just got one of these, the ATEM SDI Extreme ISO. Man, that's a lot of... Uh, name for a uh, product. Um, I've done previous videos in the past where you can see on here the microphone inputs are uh, eighth inch and they are stereo unbalanced. Um, so we're not gonna go into that today, but just so you know, this cable is just a 10 foot cable going from here and the audio is coming out of the back of that Behringer wing over there um, coming out of the outputs. Now, when you do this, you'll usually find that your meters are gonna be like slammed in the red all the way at the top, right at the beginning. Um, so let's talk a little bit about how to kind of get some of the optimized uh, volume between these two devices. So on our Behringer wing over here, I am coming out of this matrix that has a limiter applied, the precision limiter. I've got a bunch of videos where I talk about that. Um, and I am sending a um, pink noise signal really, really hot that is hitting the limiter. So the limiter is definitely holding back the level. Um, and then we're feeding that again back into our A10. Now, when you do that, again, you're going to be slammed in the red. So let me show you some settings that you're going to want to adjust here. All right, so if you are in initialized settings here, we're gonna go in our A10 software, bottom left-hand corner to this little cog wheel. You'll need to click on audio. When you first pull it up, it'll be on split audio. You don't really need that, so you can turn that off for mic one. In general, this is a really important part. As a default, mic one input is set to microphone plus plug-in power normal. You want to be on line level because microphone level means that they are going to boost the audio with a preamp in the ATEM but we are already sending a very hot signal from the board with a limiter applied. So we wanna do line level and then hit done. Once you do that, you will still be slamming up into the red. Now, red is not necessarily bad, but what you don't want is for this number to say zero or for this meter to touch all the way at the top because that's when the signal is actually digitally clipping. So what I like to do to keep things simple um, is we have everything set to zero on here. So the input sensitivity is set to zero, the channel output is set to zero, the master output is set to zero. And we are going to turn down the wing so that we get, as you can see on here, we're not hitting zero on our, uh, on our meter, we're not clipping. So back to the wing. For this setup, again, sending the absolute loudest that this can go, I found that when I turn my output down to negative 12 is when we get that level on the ATEM where we're hitting around negative two and a half, somewhere in there. Um, and then from that point, if you need to get as close to clipping as possible, then you can use this fader to maybe add maybe one and a half dB at most. Now, when I mix things in the studio, I usually try and have my master output hit, you know, somewhere around negative one. For live use, it's probably not a bad idea to have this extra little bit of headroom in here, um, but you do have some room if you need to push that a little bit further. But usually for live stuff, as long as you're not, you know, uh, having more than 3D view of headroom, you're probably gonna do okay. Um, so one last trick on here, you'll notice that on my channel, uh, it was called Rec 2. I added the uh, text that says negative 12 dB so that if this ever gets bumped, they'll know that last time I was here and set this up, that's what I found to be the optimal output level. And that's it. Um, that should give us plenty of volume with the limiter protecting us from peaking coming out of the wing. We have dropped the level down so that it is appropriate going into the ATEM. And then the ATEM again right now is all set to zero so that we have 
simple settings that video people hopefully can't mess up on this end. Uh, the other thing too, I did turn off all the levels for the camera feeds so you can't accidentally add those in. And uh, there you go. I hope that was helpful for somebody out there. If you have any questions, let me know. And until next time, have a great week. Again, this is Chad from Ascension Worship. I hope this has been helpful for you and your team. Come back here every Tuesday for new information.